A manometer is another kind of pressure gauge. It is used to measure the pressure inside a container. A classic manometer is a U-shaped tube like this with some mercury inside. Let's say when connected to this container, the mercury column looks like this with a height difference of 18 centimeters. Find the pressure inside the container in centimeter mercury and in pascals. Find the gauge pressure inside in centimeter mercury. When the mercury reaches equilibrium and stops flowing, the pressure here and there must be the same. The pressure over here comes from the pressure from the container, so the pressure here is P. The pressure over here is the pressure on the top, which is exposed to the atmosphere, so it's the atmospheric pressure on the top, plus the pressure from this mercury column. So it's PO plus the rho GH of the mercury column. Since the pressure on the two sides have to be equal, P, the pressure inside the container, would equal to PO plus the rho GH of the mercury column. If I want this uh, pressure to be in centimeter mercury, if the problem does not specify, we will use the standard atmospheric pressure for the PO, which is uh, 76 centimeter mercury. The rho GH from the mercury column, since the mercury column is 18 centimeters tall, it is just 18 centimeter mercury. So this will give me 94 centimeter mercury. So that's the pressure or the absolute pressure inside the container in centimeter mercury. If I want it to be in pascals, then everything I put in here has to be in standard unit. The standard atmospheric pressure 10 to the fifth pascals. Plus the density, now I have to use the density of the mercury standard unit 13600 times the, I'm just going to use 10 for G, and the height is 18 centimeters in standard unit it is 0.18 meters. So I have this many pascals, which gives me 12.4480 pascals. So that's part A. In part B, we want the gauge pressure. Gauge pressure is the absolute pressure minus the atmospheric pressure. If I subtract the atmospheric pressure from it, I get the rho GH of the mercury column, and that's 18 centimeters of mercury column. So the gauge pressure is 18 centimeter mercury. Perhaps this is why this pressure is called the gauge pressure, because it comes directly from the height reading of the manometer. What if the mercury in the manometer looks like this, with the mercury column taller on the left side by 18 centimeters? Again, find the pressure inside the container in centimeter mercury and in pascals, and find the gauge pressure in centimeter mercury. Again, when the mercury column reaches equilibrium, the pressure here and the here must be the same. The pressure over here is the pressure on the top, which is the pressure P from the container, plus the rho GH of this mercury column. The pressure over here is the PO, the atmospheric pressure, because this surface is exposed to the atmosphere. So the P plus the rho GH on the left side would equal to the atmospheric pressure PO, which means that the pressure inside the container is PO minus rho GH. Now in centimeter mercury, PO, we're going to use 76, and the rho GH is 18 centimeters. So it's 76 minus 18, which gives us 58 centimeter mercury. 
If I want it to be in pascals, I have to use the standard unit 10 to the fifth pascals minus the density of mercury times g times the h. I need it to be in standard unit, so it's 0.18. This many pascals, that's 75,520 pascals. And that's the absolute pressure, or just pressure. The gauge pressure is the absolute pressure minus the atmospheric pressure. If I subtract PO from P, I'm going to get negative rho GH, which is negative 18 centimeter mercury. This negative tells us that the pressure in here is below the atmospheric pressure by 18 centimeter mercury. When the mercury column is taller on the right side, we know that the pressure inside must be higher than the atmospheric pressure, and it's higher by 18 centimeter mercury. When the mercury column is taller on the left side, we know that the pressure inside is less than the atmospheric pressure, and it's less than the atmospheric pressure by 18 centimeter mercury. If you want to find out how deep you can dive using only a snorkel, or whether you can steal someone's tasty drink using a long tube from a balcony above, please take a look at the video link at my website.